Welcome to Psychomedy Daily Dose, the spin-off series of short episodes of Psychomedy during this time of near total shutdown of the live comedy circuit due to coronavirus. I'm Nathan Cassidy, stand-up comedian and Bachelor of Science in Psychology, and every day now I'm going to be talking with a different comedian about the current situation, along with passing on some hopefully really helpful and positive strategies, coping mechanisms from the counselling professionals we partner with at threadup.co.uk. I'm hoping that by sharing experiences and some positivity with comedians, we can all get through this together in the best possible way. Joining me today, rejoining me on Psychomedy Daily Dose, it's Glenn Wall. Glenn, hello again. Hello. Hello. So it's been three weeks since our last conversation. And as I've done with a few of our Daily Dose guests, I thought it'd be good to check back in with you and see whether we have anything new to talk about. Otherwise, we can keep it to two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did have a, uh, I did have a humorous thing happen, which is difficult in these times because uh, not much happens. So yeah, well, thank goodness. Pretty... Hit me with that. That sounds good. Well, uh, my little toddler has taken to um, joining in. The, the clap alongs. Uh, and he okay. really likes it. He doesn't really understand it, I don't think, on any level. But, um, but yeah. we live in a lovely village called Finchingfield, Village of the Year. I think I told you that already. Oh, no, I don't think you did. No, Village of the Year. Well done. Yeah, three times running. And right. uh, so we live right on the green. And it's nice because everybody, you know, comes out their front door and there's a, a little duck pond and it's, it's absolutely lovely. There's a reason it's Village of the Year. Mm. And people hang out of windows, come out the front doors, bang pots and pans. And like almost, it is a village, but almost every window or doorway has somebody in it uh, mm. come that time. So we... We go up to our window, it's about 7.55, and we're all, everybody, it's just quiet, you know, like, because people, are, it's almost like a moment of silence before this, this eruption of noise, um, and uh, right in the middle of the green by the duck pond, five male ducks got a hold of a lady duck and I don't know how much you know about ducks. <laughs> yeah. But they're terrible. They're yeah. Terrible people. And it was loud and it was uncomfortable. And then a sixth sort of bigger duck heard the commotion and you think, oh good, justice, like the 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 big duck of the group is gonna Join in, is what he's going to do. And now it's a six duck, and it's just horrendous. And then it was over, and we were all standing in silence. And then the clock struck, and we all had to start clapping. <laughs> Those ducks must have thought that was a pretty good one today, you know? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> They're starting to appreciate it now at last. Yeah, they understand <laughs> us a little better now. I, I don't know. They've had time to think about <laughs> the way we do things down here at the pond. <laughs> and I yeah. still don't know whether my son thinks that's what we were clapping about. <laughs> <laughs> he's too young to know <laughs> he's too young but to the, know but uh, but that could be his first memory <laughs> 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 the one thing the one thing that will stay with me for the whole time is the like the it was all quiet and this is about halfway through and i heard the neighbors downstairs door open and he just looked at it and went, well, that's hardly in the spirit of things. <laughs> <laughs> See if he remembers it next Thursday. <laughs> just like, where are, the, where are the ducks, Daddy? 
Yeah, Why? yeah, he couldn't even, he wouldn't clap. He was, this isn't, this isn't what this moment's about. <laughs> Maybe he thinks a different animal's going to be traumatized. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful beautiful <laughs> well good to hear good to hear you're well as a family we talked about we talked about it's, <laughs> it's these moments together that really make you grow it is it is we've uh, i've spent more time apart from my son but maybe maybe that's the trick we need to get out to the <laughs> get out to the duck pond it's just been <laughs> We Is broke it? we broke one up the other day. We were feeding the dogs okay. and it was happening again. And my right. wife was just like, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> you started going looking for it now, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we had to hang out a pretty long time for, for one to happen. We can't induce it. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how long you have to wait. I wonder whether it's pretty, pretty, pretty regular. I mean, I've never... I'm I've never... sure it's regular. I, yeah, um, yeah. Well, I've seen two now that I know what I'm looking for. <laughs> <laughs> I you know, honestly, you know the signs. What What are the early signs? Yeah. The, the flirting. I, I, yeah, I didn't <laughs> like. I, I was aware of it, but I'd never seen it. But it is, it is absolutely brutal. And I told yeah. my brother this story, and he's an avid hunter because I. He sent, he lives up in the Northwest Territories, so he's been hunting the whole time. And right. I was like, you're allowed to go hunting? And he's like, well, you're allowed to go to the supermarket. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, I guess that is a, that's a solid point, my friend. Uh, but he, yeah, he showed me all these, uh, he's got muskoks and goose and, and everything. And I told him, well, he, if he could bring his rifle here, I got some <laughs> rough justice for some ducks. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, um, he said that if you're hunting ducks, you always shoot the male first because the female will stick around and try and help. But you shoot the female first, the <laughs> males just fly away as fast as they can. <laughs> uh. Nice. That'll be next yeah. Thursday. That'll be next Thursday. Um Well he also he also made a strong point, um, because we have a niece that's a um she's a nurse in Northern Ireland and she contracted uh COVID uh right. because of uh they just didn't, you know. She was going to work in a bin bag and a hockey helmet, you know, whenever she could fish out of the garage. She's yeah. fine now, but you know, we're not yeah. um, we're not big fans of the government and uh, its protection of our niece through uh, through this. Um, no, so when no. I told him the. Uh, I told him the thing about the guy saying it's hardly in the spirit of things. He's like, well, it could just be a representation of the Tory government and the <laughs> NHS. Yeah. Oh, God. Every time they're asked about PPE in those daily briefings and why I, I don't I actually don't understand why governments just can't say sorry. Why, why they'd lose any you know, they gained so much, wouldn't they, if they just said sorry? I don't know. Yeah, no, I, 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 thoroughly, um, I thoroughly agree with you because, um, the, and it, it, especially at this time, yeah, people understand. Yeah, it's hard. People, people, yeah, like I, I wouldn't want to do it, but I, I certainly wouldn't shit on a baking tray and tell everybody <laughs> I made them a cake. <laughs> <laughs> you know? yeah 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 we we all make mistakes and just yes watching them particularly as they've been wheeled out by boris who's been just like oh. nowhere to be seen just like these poor oh. people just like oh they don't want to be there and just say sorry. No. I'm sorry. We fucked. You know, we fucked up. Sorry, but we're doing our best. Sorry, and then we'd we'd like them a bit more, wouldn't we? 
Yeah, well, as opposed to Johnson, who I, I call him Bobo the Good News Moose. <laughs> wherever he goes, boy, he's, he can sure get back when there's something nice to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Comes <laughs> out all ruffled as hell, uh, refers to flatten the curve. And it's it, yeah, it, he hops out a window <laughs> into, <laughs> into the passenger seat of a convertible Camaro, and away he goes in the sunset, only to be seen when something else good happens, which is why. <laughs> We haven't seen him hide our hair for two months. <laughs> yeah. But he's back tomorrow. He's back, well, tonight. This is going out Sunday. So, yeah, he's back tonight with the good yeah, news. Even, well, he's, this, is the, this is the thing. He's, he's probably just, because the last time we saw him, Starmer got him so flustered, he promised to end the lockdown on Monday. <laughs> so he had to go back into his fridge. So they were like, by the way, there's no end of the lockdown on Monday. That would yeah. be insanity. So, yeah, I get, you know what he is? He's like a divorced dad. <laughs> he shows up for Christmas and birthdays and gets yeah. everyone all hopped up on ice cream. But... In essence, he's just an asshole. And you know, you don't realize it until you're an adult yourself. You're like, that guy was a dick. Like, no, yeah, he was fun, but he was buying his beer when we were all having. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I think he's I think he's probably sorting up today. I think he's in trouble because the the tabloids have announced like a jamboree today that's gonna that's gonna be announced tomorrow like freedom you know <laughs> along with yeah. along with pictures of adele having lost a stone all it is is <laughs> all it is is let's celebrate parties <laughs> picnics let's go wild and boris is thinking no i was just going to announce i don't know an extra half an hour on yeah the, on the exercise but now he's probably gonna have to come up with some other just made up things that we can that we can do now you know but he is like I mean he's he's a he's a version of Trump. Now he's smarter than Trump. You got to give him that. But I mean, <laughs> yeah, try to try to use right. that on a job application. Let's try and think of someone more stupid See, than Trump. The, yeah, I'm smarter than Donald Trump. Well, it's still you got to stack these shelves. So I don't know. That's a good quiz question for these online quizzes. Can you genuinely think of anyone more stupid than Trump? <laughs> <laughs> That's quite a tricky one. <laughs> well, I said this about Pence and uh, Trump. Is they are, it's like watching the Jordan and Pippin of idiots. <laughs> like that is the highest two idiots have risen. <laughs> like almost clinical idiots. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And the, uh, Pence, <laughs> he didn't want to wear a mask because he likes to look people in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> and then Trump showed up to a mask factory and wore <laughs> safety glasses. <laughs> yeah. It was like, watch this. You think, no way, I'll do something dumber, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. And I mean, the only way this movie ends is they both die of COVID. <laughs> yeah. It's the only way it ends. Well, it's spreading, isn't it? It's spreading around the White House. A few. Pence's, Pence's I think, closest aide had it. I think it's just caught it. So, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's on its I'm way. It's on its way. Guys too. Yeah. One of, yeah. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they they make they make our government look look fairly <laughs> look fairly good. I mean, that's the one thing I've been listening into and watching the the daily briefings. I have been, I do, yeah, I do find a lot of comedy in those daily briefings. Just the just the amount they try and squirm out of answering <laughs> any question. You know, I I I I put a tweet out the other day. I thought uh, someone should ask Dominic Raab his name. Just watch your name. <laughs> In that, and see, and see him speak for three minutes without saying the words Rob or Dominic, you know. <laughs> well, I love, I I love the the amount of praise they give each question in that <laughs> yeah, way. Of, yeah. I am waiting to think of something to <laughs> yeah. say. That's oh, a marvelous question. That's an absolutely. That's a crucial question. That's <laughs> that's an amazing question. Well, we ramp up testing. <laughs> 
like I think this whole <laughs> like <laughs> this whole virus. My, afterwards, you know, there's little uh, things that we're never gonna like. We probably will never use Zoom again because it'll just remind <laughs> us of being grounded. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But if I hear anybody ramping up anything, I'm just gonna punch them. Just for all the other times <laughs> I had to hear somebody say it because it was the only bit of good news that they could possibly say about themselves. Yeah, but they yeah. just love it. They've, some PR has got in there <laughs> yeah. and go. Say rap as many times as you can. People <laughs> like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As if, as if the hundred thousand figure actually means anything. It's just a round number. It's a yeah. round number. It's like if you don't hit that hundred thousand, we're disappointed. Um, well, it's yeah. yeah, it's because somebody blurted it out once. Yeah, they were like, "You can do that." Yeah, we can do that. Because <laughs> yeah. really, the the reason that I mean, testing. Uh, Testing, it, it, it's good and it works, but it works like in early February. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. The amount of, uh, like, they've just, they've just now realized it might be a good idea for international travelers to quarantine themselves. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now? <laughs> that, horse, that horse is bolted, but boy, exactly. are they lock, boy are they locking the fence now? They're double oh, padlocking yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, in, in and in essence, I I traveled, um, I traveled right at that time because I had to get back to England before the lockdown, uh, yeah. as you know. Mm. Uh, but I self isolated. Mm. I can I, like I just I just know like okay I've been. I've been in an airport. I've been on an international flight. Two weeks. I'm not talking to anybody. Yeah. And who, like, who wasn't aware that they <laughs> should do that? <laughs> Trump, and you know, like, Trump and Johnson. <laughs> well, yeah, they're the only ones. Like, we had no warning. You watch the Chinese build a hospital in real time. It looks like a <laughs> National Geographic. <laughs> documentary on when we spread the camera no it was just going do, 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 do. at that point you start to think well maybe there's something going on in china <laughs> maybe we shouldn't have a horse race to celebrate it <laughs> yeah yeah oh dear yeah i um yeah, I, I've, I've liked watching Dominic Raab over this time. He looked a bit nervous at the start, but now he just comes out and he's just insouciant. He's grumpy. <laughs> he's like, oh, I think we're just a few questions away from him saying, oh, just shut the fuck up. Just stop moaning. Get inside, you pricks. Buy a, <laughs> yeah. buy a sunbed. <laughs> Don't listen to the sun, you morons. Buy a <laughs> sunbed. And stay inside. <laughs> I just just ends it all by walking out that little door and grabbing Johnson and go. You tell him. For sake. Yeah. He's been behind there. Dude, he's been behind this door the whole time. <laughs> yeah. Whispering like. Uh... <laughs> yeah. He's got a little glass at the wall, and then he. <laughs> Whispering like Steve Martin in that in that bush. Yeah, <laughs> and that's why so much of the so, so much of the, it doesn't make any sense because I can't hear him. I mean, he did have yeah. COVID, so he is wheezing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's a great question. That's a great <laughs> question to say that over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he well, he's googling the answer. Just keep him going with the great question. <laughs> Retort. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. Oh, we're all go we're all going a bit crazy in this uh, lockdown. I've seen I've seen people doing a few strange things. Did you see the uh, Did you see the Ollie Merce thing the other day? <laughs> No. Did you see the Ollie Murs thing? Ollie Murs. I mean, people are doing strange things. I mean, yeah, comedians are taking their clothes off and whatever. And Ollie Murs, a singer and whatever, he can't really sing. So what he did was he... <laughs> what do you do? What do you do after two months of lockdown? Well, what he did was he uh, cut the end off a Pringles can. <laughs> <laughs> put, it, put it over his, I don't know, erect or flaccid penis. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> Um, set up his camera to his phone to, to see the ensuing comedy 
that would undoubtedly come from this moment. Sitting next to his girlfriend, offered her a Pringle. She put the um, hand in and she looked disgusted. You know, even though they've probably been going out a while, she looked absolutely disgusted by him. He posted this and everyone started piling in saying, Ollie, that is... That is awful. Um, he had 48 <laughs> hours of saying, no, it's fine. It's just a bit of banter. And of course, all the, all the people, um, you know, were piling in half the, you know, it was 50-50. It was Brexit again. 50% of people going, that's comedy. That is funny. 50% of people saying that's awful. And some saying that's sexual assault. Right? <laughs> so 40, 48 hours later, you've got to see it. He comes out with an apology. <laughs> He comes, out, he comes out with a public apology on Twitter. And he said he's thought long and hard about what he did. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I tell so you that's, what, been, that's been amusing me. I tell you what, I know a duck that doesn't think that's <laughs> I know a duck that would really have liked that to have happened. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, <laughs> are you holding? Are you holding it together? Are you keeping the ends on the Pringles can? Are you holding it together mentally? Have you been? Have you been okay? You and the family? Yeah, yeah, we're good. We're yeah. good. We're just. Um, we're just. I, I, I'm ambivalent. I've, I've got a little, a few little projects that I'm working on, and. Um, yeah. Uh, my wife's actually uh, she's working as a nanny for um, for her niece and nephew because their 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 dad's a uh, key worker. So she goes away for um, sometimes during the day. Oh. Uh, and this is the thing: my son is never going to understand it, like this. I'm not, how, how are we going to explain to him next year around this time? It's like, no, we don't always take three months <laughs> off and just focus directly on you. That was a very good yeah. He's just like, yeah, like, they're just always here helping <laughs> and playing with me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So then, you, take yeah. It, you take it for what it's worth. And, and um, my son's uh, two and a half years old. And uh, that is absolutely the best age for like he doesn't you know he's he he he, he does tantrums and stuff, but he's also very cuddly and uh, just wants to play, you know. And uh, yeah, beautiful. Yeah, fun. I've got friends who've got teenagers, and apparently this is hell. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm I'm putting my hand up there. Yeah, my uh, yeah. no, it's 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 fine. It's fine. We've uh, replaced. We talked about it last time. We've replaced him turning upside down on his bed for uh, as long as he can watch a Marvel film a day. He's he's happy. So that's what he's doing. <laughs> that's what he's doing at the moment. We just got. I've, I've got him Disney Plus. So he's watching um, a Marvel film a day. I don't know whether you're into the Marvel films. I've seen a tiny little bit of it. And yeah, I can, I, I get it. But um, I'm not going to sit down and watch a whole one. But you know. Yeah, I, I enjoyed uh, The Mandalorian. I, yeah. 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 But uh, yeah, I, I, Marvel, it's just, there's, there's too much. You have to know, to, like, you have to... Yeah. To research. understand the last big one, you'd have had to watch the hundred hours of movie. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So talking about talking about work there, I mean, you say you've got a, a few projects. I mean, God, I, I started this lockdown quite optimistic, thinking we might might be back at work. <laughs> well, now really, May. I was quite I was quietly confident of the Brighton fringe, what, two two months ago, which is this month. But um yeah, now it's looking, I don't know, now it's looking pessimistic. Uh, it's kind of, I mean, there is a chance we won't be back at work to what? Right at the end of the year? I don't know. Yeah. Um, do, you, do, you have a, do you have a plan? I mean, is there, uh, you know, do you have a plan for your, or are you just going to sit back and wait it out? Yeah. Yeah, I don't have, um, I don't have a terrible amount of costs right now. Um, mm. Oh, yeah, there's... So cheap, isn't it? Life is cheap. Yeah. Surprisingly yeah. cheap. It's like yeah. yeah. I get um I get these checks from um uh the satellite radio, so it's not I'm not mm. that bad off. Um but 
I'll see if it's gonna if it's gonna drag on for a long time. Yeah. Um, I maybe get another job, but I don't want to. Mm. And I'm fat too, so like it's not. <laughs> <laughs> this is our age. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, you what, I can, you've, you've got to come out like Adele. You got to yes. come out and wave for the gun. Oh my God! Look at his weight change. I know. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to go for too many runs, or I'll have to get a job. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I'll just ride it out. I think. Um, uh, yeah. At first, I was like, Yeah, I'm gonna get a job in a shop and stuff. But then they were like, No, nah, if you got high blood pressure, and you're fat. It's really bad, and I was like, "Well, I knew it would come in handy for something." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, are you are you the kind of sort of person who misses um, misses live comedy, or could you, you know, could you live could you live without it for a while? I mean, imagine if I you miss said, it now. I yeah. didn't. I didn't at the start of this. I was like, "Good." I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm bored. It's um, it's hard. Yeah. It's harder, like, um, it was, it was a, um, it was becoming more and more difficult to do the kind of comedy that you wanted because, um, people, and there wasn't just one sort of person, um, sensibilities, everybody started to grip to their own sensibilities. So anytime you told a joke that could be misconstrued by one group of people, they would misconstrue it, sometimes on purpose. But then everybody started to realize that they could get attention for their own little thing. And yeah. we're, we're living in a time where attention is currency. So it just ended up getting in these arguments with crowds. Not often, but enough that it was like, it was like live Twitter. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're going out for your argument, honey? Yeah. yeah. Going out for my live arguments with the crowd. <laughs> yeah. Like, can you imagine if I tried to tell that duck story on the stage? <laughs> Which oh, is, it, it still might make it in, I'll be honest with you, because <laughs> I think once the lockdown's ended, all this I'm offended bullshit's going to be <laughs> gone because people are going to be like, once somebody's like, excuse me. I think the crowd's going to turn around and go, just go shut the fuck up. Don't. <laughs> not here. You go back to your house and play that game. But we are out for the first time in three yeah. months. And yeah. we will sever your head and dance around it on a pipe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. God, yeah. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. Yeah. Oh, God, as you said last time, we need to maintain a rosy outlook. And that is it. That is it. <laughs> Severing hecklers' heads. <laughs> I don't even mind hecklers. It's uh, yeah, 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 totally. Yeah, yeah, I don't even think you can call that stuff heckling. That's no. just that's just suicide bomber. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna ruin it all. Yeah. Oh, beautiful, man. Beautiful. Well, I mean, I'm sure you've got other things to do. It's so good checking back in with ah. you. And Is that um what you think? <laughs> <laughs> I mean yeah. I said I said that fishing for you to say, no, stay. Because I've got nothing else to do. I've got to go to the yeah. same fucking park and play piggy in the middle with my two kids. That's all I'm doing every day. Same park. I'm just like, thank God Boris is going to announce this street party tomorrow where everyone's gonna just they'll be fucking in the streets tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was doing a, uh, I was doing a, a an interview for um, uh, Galway uh, Comedy Festival yesterday with, you know, Carl Spain. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the old mate of mine. We were having a blast, and then just in the middle of it, Vera Lynn starts typing <laughs> through the window. Oh God! <laughs> I was like, I, I took the camera to the window. I was like. Uh, I, I assume you guys are having this in Ireland too. <laughs> British war songs. Ah <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. I spoke to uh, I spoke to Lynn Ruth Miller yesterday, and she, she yeah she remembers the E Day. That was a that was an interesting. That was wow. Interesting, yeah, she was uh, yeah interesting to talk to. God, listening to that, it's like. Uh, 
yeah just um yeah i didn't really talk to her about passage of time but passage of time is like so weird now my one worry about getting to that age 80 and 90 was time was just going to accelerate so quickly because time just gets quicker and i was just thinking but i think this shows us that when it slows down time goes nice and slowly and you just lose all concept of time and you just play yeah. piggy, you just play piggy in the middle with your kids and time goes on for fucking ever you know yeah, well, it's not that time goes faster. It's just you've had more of it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's what yeah. I've realized. Because, yeah, like 10 years used to be a lot longer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's how I feel in the last minute of our conversation together. It's just racing by. <laughs> 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 it is, isn't it? Yeah. As we're trying to wrap it up, it's uh, it's just racing towards the conclusion, and I'm clinging on to it. Like, talk to me, Glenn. I need a friend. I need an adult friend. <laughs> Look, <laughs> I've got to go feed the ducks. <laughs> we know what you're talking about there. Um, yeah. I'm so bored. I'm this close to joining in. <laughs> glenn thank you so much for joining me and please i'm getting down on my knees if this goes on another three or four weeks let's check in again but let's pray let's pray we don't have to you got it we're free we're free tonight we're free thank you so much lots of love to you keep well Yes, the incredible Glenn Wool there. Amazing. So, yes, if you're listening to this on Sunday, then we're going to have these, uh, some of these lockdown restrictions uh, lifted. So we thought, what better time to slowly get back to normal? So we're going to start doing these psychology shows three times a week. Um, so instead of daily dose, it's going to be, I don't know, Dale three dose or something like that three times a week so this is going to be the last of the Sundays Uh, from now on it's going to be Tuesdays Thursdays and Saturdays hopefully freeing us up to get back to our weekly Friday shows as soon as possible so thank you so much to everyone that has appeared on this so far this is actually the 52nd episode. I was getting my numbers wrong. We're getting dates wrong. We're getting times wrong. But uh, beautiful. 52 has got a ring to it, hasn't it? And uh, But we're carrying them on. So uh, the next show after this one will be Tuesdays and then Thursdays and then Saturdays. So thank you so much. That was our show for today. Please listen back on all the daily shows uh, and all the, uh, all the main shows. Please give us the five-star reviews. Psychomedy is produced by Mike Hansen at Pop People Productions. Check out psychomedy.co.uk for those mental health tips from our counselling partners at ThreadUp. I'm Nathan Casty. Lots of love to you all. Stay healthy. Stay optimistic. Tune back in for more Psychomedy. Dale, three dose. That's not going to last, is it? Tune back in for more Psychomedy on Tuesday. Lots of love to you.